players. I talked about them losing the match of players, but now it seems like they are out of the league completely as the coach scored an Ungu. What a disgrace. I have said it before that the only reward of someone who fight this who fight grace is disgrace. I have said it before that the only reward of someone who fights grace is disgrace. He who planted evil seeds will definitely reap evil fruits. It only takes someone who has tooth in his mouth to bite the fingers that fed that feed him or her. That is what they don't know. It is not by size or smartness. It's by his his amazing grace. It is not by size or smartness. It is by his amazing grace. Allah is sufficient for me. And he alone is going to take the glory before and after this boss made. This is according to Egyptian. Uh, okay, I will want know the spokesperson of Egyptian, which is a uh, comrade who starts Dawood. All right, um, what do you have to say on this latest assertion, on this latest release of a uh, uh, all ground pressure group of Nigeria? Uh, please uh, drop a reaction. Could it be that uh, they are, you know, referring to the latest uh, press address uh, by the current director of uh, UAG, Apostle Ken Wakama, who went to ITV and uh, According to other report, he also went to a, to a, a AIT, yes, to say that uh, he never collected money from uh, uh, subscribers or beneficiaries or masses. That the only money collected is the hundred thousand naira that he collected, uh, so that uh, the screen and verification can be done, and also that uh, he collected the, the hundred thousand naira uh, from NGO heads as loan yes as borrow or as loan hoping that uh, disbursement will come soon that uh, uh, when disbursement comes through the disbursement or, or through the money coming uh, is going to refund back uh, the um, borrowed money but uh, uh, for, as it is uh, the money has not landed and uh, because of that he has been unable to refund the hundred thousand naira back to the NGOs, uh, uh, saying that uh, people are, you know, carrying out a, a falsehood a, a, a against him, uh, lies upon lies against him, uh, a, a, you know, spoiling his character, a, a damaging image, uh, uh, saying that is uh, is a criminal, uh, that is a fugitive. That he collected money f uh, from uh, you know subscribers, and now he's unable to disburse uh, the huge grant. And uh, according to Apostle Ken Wakama, he did not collect money from subscribers. That is only hundred thousand naira that he collected from subscribers. But uh, according to the masses uh, le led by one Mr. Paul, uh, who have always uh, you know uh, 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 alleged yes because it's, uh, it has not been proved beyond reasonable doubt. Uh, saying that uh, Ken Wakama collected uh, uh, different, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, collected money on 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 on, on, on different uh, times uh, from uh, the masses or from subscribers, for beneficiaries, uh, you know, uh, is, is saying that uh, Mr. Ken Wakama, you know, latest broadcast is lies upon lies, uh, that uh, is falsehood. That Ken Wakama is not saying the truth. That uh, he, uh, uh, the, on Paystack, uh, Mr. Ken collected money, even uh, through codes. Uh, UAG collected money. That uh, UAG has been collecting money on, on, on different instances. That uh, what Mr. Ken went to ITV to say is a blunt out uh, lies. Okay, my viewers at home, please drop your reaction in the comment section. Ensure you subscribe to our channel. Uh, do it to spread the report across on these platforms. 
share the report across all Super Liberation Center, pick on Golden Bridge Grand platforms, uh, and worldwide on Facebook, Instagram, and Telegram, WhatsApp, and name it, and the bye for now. Do join us in the other news. Thanks so much for listening. Bye for now, please. Okay? Bye for now. So guys, you have heard the report, you have heard the analysis. So we just uh, pray that uh, this disbursement happens, although it's a recurring decimal that beginning of every week, they raise hope. Beginning of every month, they raise hope. At the end of each month, they bring something that will, that will, will sabotage the disbursement. Now, according to the story we have heard, everything is ready. But it was Ken Wakama that uh, refused to bring his database. You know, we are trying to gather information so that we can release authentic uh, update about the the conference and the emergency meeting that was held. Because it was yesterday, Saturday, that Ken Wakama was mandated to bring his uh, database. Because previously it was said that his database had repetitive uh, NGOs. That is, it couldn't enter the that when they placed it, it couldn't uh, uh, read. So they asked him to bring the updated uh, names of NGO, and uh, some NGOs were removed and the rest. So CBN told him to to update his records and bring. As at day four yesterday, they they were mandating him. Day day four yesterday and yesterday they were mandating him to bring his record and he has not brought it so before the end of today we'll provide you with enough information about the updated meeting that was held yesterday about ken wakama's uh, uh, flight about about the the whole issue about his own database because he couldn't supply enough uh, data for 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 them to work with so guys that's what we have at the moment that's what we have at the moment we'll keep you updated especially the meeting that was held the emergency meeting that was held that ken wakama was was ordered to to get his own database so guys let's pray next month today is the last okay tomorrow is the last day i think today okay but by Monday, by Tuesday, which is the working week, we should be able to know our fate. But it's a recurring decimal at the beginning of every month. They raise hope. At the ending of every month, they bring an excuse. Now the excuse is that they're waiting for Ken Wakama, for CBN to disburse. Guys, let's keep our fingers crossed and wait for these guys. I don't know the kind of games they're playing.